Chick-fil-A. So I got a Diet Coke, zero calories. I got an eight piece of their nugget, which is 270 calories. And then I got a medium um, mac and cheese, which is so freaking delicious. And that is 450 calories. So this meal is 720. If I decide to use a honey mustard, I didn't look up how many calories that would be. So I guess we could just like do that together. Um, whoops. Okay, so Chick-fil-A. Honey mustard usually is like pretty low calorie. Um, it's not like horrible. Uh, okay, so it's 45 calories for one of these. So I'm just going to log it as I'm going to have one. Um, I'm probably not going to eat the whole thing. So... So yeah, this meal is 765 calories, kind of high, but that's okay. Um, this is bomb. Yeah. For my next meal, I feel like I want to binge. Um, it's bad. It's so overpowering that I want to scream, and I'm having to do everything in my power not to do it. And it's a scary place to be in. Wow. Um, normally I cave into these binges, but this is like not a good feeling. If you're a binge eater and if you have ever wanted to binge so bad, I'm sorry, I sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. If you ever wanted to binge so bad and like you didn't cave into it and like every part of your body, like you have to literally use every cell in your body not to do it. Yeah, that's me right now. Um, something I have been taught in outpatient by not only my psychologist but the dietitian is that when you are a binge eater, if you are craving something, eat it because if you don't, you will later binge on it nine times out of ten and that has been the story of my life um a perfect example is like pringles love me a pringle moment if i was craving pringles and i didn't allow myself to have them even if i was like craving them really really bad um or even if i wanted to like binge on them or i had that like thought process um if i didn't allow myself to have some i would later on binge on a whole thing of pringles instead of just having like a serving or two servings even um so this is a perfect example right now I wanted to order tons of food, um, like a seafood boil moment. I wanted to order maybe like Cold Stone. So I, I want to binge on thousands of calories. Instead, I took something that I was craving, which I've been having a lot lately, is the KFC bowl. <laughs> uh, so by allowing my food to have a normal meal, which this is 740 calories, which fits into my calories. This is all I got. I didn't get a drink, didn't get the cookie, nothing. Um, that's all I got. That's all I got, literally. The bag is empty. Empty, empty. We do have napkins and a spoon, well, a fork. Um, like I want hot Cheetos and just like, honestly, anything I can get my hands on. It's, it's uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable to have to sit there with these feelings and the urges. It really truly is. So I'm going to eat this slowly. I'm gonna chew slowly. I'm gonna take smaller bites. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy the food that I'm eating. These are things that I am being taught. Um, an outpatient and I really just want to eat this super quickly like that's another thing a lot of people are like okay so do you know the characteristics and the differences between overeating and like binge eating yes the big one for me is the mentality of it but another one is when I'm binging I eat so much quicker and I don't chew as much I take bigger bites and it's just like like shoveling it in almost um not in the animated way that you're probably imagining no it's just definitely a lot quicker um while overeating it's a completely different mental headspace it's like I'm eating slower, you know, thoroughly enjoying the food, but during a binge, I'm, I'm not enjoying the food at all. So I'm going to take my positive choice. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not gonna watch TV, nothing. I'm just gonna be, it's just gonna be me and the famous bowl. Well, usually while binging, nine times out of 10, I'm watching something on YouTube or I'm watching a TV show. So this is, this is a technique that I've been taught and I'm putting it to use. It's still really early in the night. Um, it's the end of my calories. I'm eating before I want to, but I'm trying to sati satiate the hunger so it doesn't go. go. I'm actually gonna have some of these cheddar and sour cream chips. I'm probably just gonna, I don't know, eat the rest of them. How much is in there? That much. And then I'm gonna have some of these mint chocolate cookies. I'll show you guys what they look like. I'll probably have three or four of these. Actually, I ended up having seven of these. That's crazy. 
to say it out loud as I was eating them. It didn't even feel like seven of them. So <sighs> now I have no more. So I got some creamy milk chocolate. It's a symphony bar and it's freaking huge. And I got a bag of peaches. It's like a gummy candy. I did not finish these. I ate um, half, of the uh, half of the symphony bar. God, I hate voiceovers. And I ate about half of uh, the peaches. So uh, Eric also had a little bit of that. So I do have more of that. Later on, I got hungry for something salty. So I had a chili flavor ramen noodle, which this is like one of my favorites. It's super good, totally unhealthy. Um, I crunch mine up and I do cook mine in the stove. I know a lot of people cook it in the microwave. I've been liking my soups and chilies in mugs. I know that might be weird, but here is the completed dish. It was really soothing on this cold snow. We just stopped to pick up dinner. I'm going to post the photos here of what I had. I ordered a taco, a tamale, and it came with rice and beans. It was like a little combination meal. So I'm not sure how many calories. I'm not sure what it looks like because we're picking it up currently. We're waiting in the parking lot for the order to be done. So in this, I'll also flash a photo of like how many calories it came out to and all of that. Hello, so this is how much I actually had left over that I didn't eat. And here are the calories. Came out to 345. Um, now that I like look back, um, I think I underestimated which I usually overestimate on calories, like just in case, but it looks to me I underestimated a little bit, so my bad. Um, and I ended up not really liking the taco, so I barely even touched that. Last night I overate. So I think what I'm gonna do in upcoming videos is show you guys the difference between when I binge versus overeat because I've had people ask me in the past quite a lot like what is the difference for you so i will talk more about that and show you guys more about that in the future it just sucks that i overate and gained a whole pound i feel so swollen today and i know since i do suffer with lip edema um i gain weight rather quickly because that is the literally literally the number one issue so it's like yes i also gain weight because i binge i also gain weight because i overeat but it just happens so fast, so quickly, um, and it sucks. I am binging, and I wanna show you what it is, because this is just reality. So I originally wanted McDonald's, but they weren't open. So I got this place called Rally's, which it's also known as Checkers in some places. Um, I got a single cheeseburger. I took everything off it, like ketchup, mustard. I don't like all that. And I just got onion. We have a fry and four mozzarella sticks, which I've already ate too. And then I got a root beer. So there it is for you guys. So if this was an overeating situation where I wanna show you guys the difference in that, I probably would have not gotten the soda definitely not and i wouldn't have gotten the mozzarella sticks i would have gotten just a small fry and just the cheeseburger so there's the difference in that so i don't know i just feel like there's levels also when it comes to like mentally when i'm binging i'm mentally unwell while i'm eating while i'm overeating obviously it's not at the quantity of binging but it's like i'm not mentally unwell when i'm overeating like i'm i don't know how to explain it um maybe i'll try to explain it some other time when i'm not actually binging so yeah honesty accountability okay and so i showed you guys what i binged on and i am being called a liar saying that's not a binge. I am being told this is insulting because, you know, I have binge eating, I have an eating disorder and it's insulting that you would call this a binge. This isn't you binging. It has honestly <laughs> threw me for a loop 
I'm gonna be honest because it was very, very hard for me to show that binge. And I wanna say straight up, right off the bat here, that binging is different for everybody. Um, the way that people's head spaces, the things that they eat, um, how they feel, how fast they eat, etc., is different for everybody. And in that moment, I was in a haze where I wasn't thinking clearly. I didn't care. Um, all I cared about was the food that was in front of me. And I really quickly wanted to show you guys what I was eating because I, I have reached this point where it's like, I don't want to be ashamed as much as I don't want to talk about it because of this. <laughs> you guys are horrible. Not all of you, but a large quantity. My binging used to be astronomically larger than what it is now. I have tried to express that to you guys. I have showed you guys actually in the past, like years and years ago, what I ate during a binge. It's not the same. My binging is a lot smaller now um, in quantity, thankfully. What I ordered was a binge. What I ate was a binge. And for people to sit there and just say this is insulting because this isn't a binge, it's painful. It took me some time. It took me having a psychologist who specializes in binge eating disorder for me to not only binge less frequently, but for me to eat less during a binge. It has taken time. It's taken work. It's time and work that you guys haven't seen. People are saying that I didn't eat enough. What? My psychologist has told me, take pictures of your food before you binge. That is one of like the first thing she told me during our meetings. And when I saw the dietitian from the outpatient program, she also recommended it. Before you binge, take a picture. And I did it a couple times. I have, I have done it a couple times, but it's not something that you think of because when you're in the fit of a binge, um, you don't think of things like that. And I have different levels to my binging that's very apparent and some of them no <laughs> I can't vlog I won't vlog because it's just it's too much it's too it's emotionally too much and there's TikToks there's YouTube videos there's all kinds of stuff online of people sharing that uh sharing the quantity and you know someone that people have been talking about lately is Tammy Lemon, I believe is her name. She is someone who also shares her binges. And, you know, just because she's showing them doesn't mean it's less valid. I don't know. Like the way the comments are, yo, like it is vile, vile.